Hey, good morning. Welcome to BCB Live. You have Sir Rick Drive Safe Dave. Thankful Thursday. It's our chance, our opportunity to say thank you for what you do and to know that you are so appreciated out there. You are the heroes of America. You're the ones that make it happen. And we say thank you, Drive Safe. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody doing today? I am excited about being here. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I am truly looking forward to getting an opportunity to say thank you to you and everybody out there doing a wonderful job and doing what it takes to make it right and make it safe. <laughs> hey, what's the big buzz in Maine right now? Uh, the, <laughs> the big buzz in Maine is bees and bees, <laughs> bees, bees. A uh, truck has overturned in Maine and has uh, uh, sent out a swarm of bees. They are calling in beekeepers from all over to make sure to help clean up this mess as they get the bees to settle down. They were a little upset. Uh, they were they were a little upset of of, of the apple cart being tossed. I can yeah, tell you not that. a big fan of that. I can imagine, right? And there's somewhere they say between ten to sixty thousand bees per hive is what goes on in there. <laughs> so the flatbed truck going northbound, a, a, a four wheeler going south, crossed over to his line. This car later on had a, you know accused of DUI as well, right? Driving without a proper license <laughs> as well, good. knocks the bees over everywhere. The beekeeper gets out of the truck and does what he should, and that's to try to calm the bees down. <laughs> you know, he resets the things back up on the side of the road. To come back and to they life. agreed to leave them there like a couple of days, right, to see if the bees will come back. Bees are important to our lives, right? Yeah, they, it, well, I mean, why we wouldn't have flowers. I mean, why would we have flowering plants if we didn't have bugs, right? Well, so. Or I could just have to walk. I'd take that would take a lot of walking for me, <laughs> let's be honest, to, to get all the flowers to, to, to kind of come back to life. But no, great point on that drive safe. Yeah, craziness out there. And again, it's just what we talk about on the road is that you've got to look out for others. You've got to look out for the crazy four-wheelers and a reminder to the four-wheelers out there. And if you're wondering, what is a four-wheeler? Well, if you're driving a car, you're what we call a four-wheeler. You as well are not allowed to drink and drive. Just like the big trucks have rules, so do you. And when you drive, and, and let me tell you something else, Drive Safe Dave, if you had your license revoked or, or you're, it's suspended <laughs> right now, there's probably a good reason for it. Stay off the road to the gentleman that was arrested, right, for, for placing what he learned probably on BCB Live switching the stickers around, kind of, <laughs> that he learned from our own producer here. Anyway, he walks out. Okay, so he saw a sign that said <laughs> two bottles for $3 and, and assumed that half that was a buck 50. So he threw down a buck 50 and walked out. Not, well, but he threw down $2. He threw down $2 and walked out, which tells you either that he's leaving a tip <laughs> or he's still trying to do something wrong. He does. The police go after him. They get him arrested. Seven days in jail before his prosecutor comes. Drive safe day. $50,000 cash bond is what's been put placed on him. Producer, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, the guy was trying to buy a Mountain Dew, right? So he sees a deal that says two Mountain Dews, $3. I'll throw down $2 and I will be A-OK, -okay, but... When the bottle comes out to two twenty nine and he is forty three cents short after throwing down two dollars, <laughs> Pennsylvania law says three strikes and you are out. So now he is facing felony charges that will hopefully be dropped. All I had to think about during this was going back a few months ago. If you've been watching this show, you remember when the producer came clean oh, for, yeah. for the old the oh, yeah. old price swap, and and it made me think of the producer. And was it worth it? Would it be worth it buying that salt? Right? For, and, and for seven days in jail. You know, just you know, something I want you I, to think about. I think my charge would be different because while he was getting Mountain Dew, I was getting salt, right? So I'd probably be charged with aggravated assault. Oh! As a, oh. <laughs> we talked yesterday about Hertz, right? About about them making the big deal on the, with Tesla. They drove Tesla's price up to, to one of the highest valuations yet to a trillion <laughs> bucks. Big dollars. Drive safe day, they as well come back and, and now they're making deals with those Uber drivers. We talked about, we yep. spoke about the Uber drivers as well, how that really affected their business. They come back and they're giving them a discount now or, you know, a, a, a deal, you know, be always be careful. Trade in your, your old deal. vehicle, get a new electric vehicle, up the ante, make sure that you're <laughs> part of this new program. It, it, it looks to be pretty interesting how they're tying all this together to bring in 
these vehicles not only and to go more green, I guess is the 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 deal behind it, but also making it a lot better to bring the technology, I guess, forth in some way. When you put that many vehicles in a community, you're going to have to put new new electric charging stations, and you're going to have to up the ante across the board. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of Uber drivers follow BCB Live, and for you, you've got to have a rating of 4.7 or 150 trips under your belt as well. So it's not just for the average Joe um, you know, Uber driver. We're after that primo driver that's, that's, that's got the high ratings. And the two thumbs up on their scorecard. For when sure. They, when they, 